Oh, you can't win anything with kids. Well, we are here to try and disprove that. We've taken the 25 best under 20 wonder kids in the world. That means no Jude Bellingham, but yes, Warren Zaire Emery. No Pedri, but yes, Gavi. It's a nursery full of high potential players and they've been purchased by a tycoon, me but in a top hat. You see this bespectacled version of me has purchased Luton Town, completely removed the entirety of the team and spent an ungodly sum of money acquiring these 25 uber high potential teenagers. This is basically what Chelsea is already doing. And I'm so confident in these kids that if this new club that I own doesn't finish in the top half of the Premier League first season, I will wear my hated rival Virginia Tech's jersey on stream with no explanation. A fate worse than a power outage while you're saving a Game. Okay, first match, Manchester United away. We're already gonna show them the business. Come on, boys! Come on, boys! Come on, boys! Uh, it's a throw in for Wonder Kid 11. It's Balde. It's Gavi. It's Evan Ferguson! Oh, we're winning the league. I should have made it win the league or bust. Totally. We're winning the league. Juan Basaka. That. <laughs> We haven't had the ball in a while. That's not important, right? Hmm. Dude, it's a free kick from the exact same spot. Yes, Scalvini. We're fine. We're not fine. We're not fine. No. The host? Don't you do that to me. Whistle. Whistle. It's over. No, it's not. That's a great start. One point away at Old Trafford, Theater of Dreams. We got outplayed slightly, but I this Wonder Kid 11's getting the job done. We set up to play in an incredibly defensive formation, and that's you know, the resolve. Who said you can't win anything with kids? We're winning the league. What would you expect from the manager our club hired? Antonio Conte, of course. Match day two's Fulham at home. Easy. And it's Reed, Adama, I, I, Okay, so not so easy. After another loss to Crystal Palace, we had a get-right game against Colchester in the League Cup, where the Wonder Kids finally found their groove. Easy. Don't even know where Colchester is. Then Wonder Kid 11 had Brighton at home, and that Virginia Tech jersey was getting a little uncomfortably close already with one point from our first three. It's ball day. It's ball day. It's gone nachos! I'm starving, and I can only eat garnachos. Sire Emery. Yes, Sire Emery. I, okay, that's not fair. Why is Ansu Fadi even on Brighton in the first place? Should be in my team if he didn't take an arrow to the knee. Come on, nachos. That's three. We actually deserve to win that game. We take that. We found another win against Everton, but then the road got hard. I guess it already was hard, but it got harder. Cup third round against Wolves. This is the uh, tournament we're winning because, you know, you can win something with kids. Let's go, Wonder Kid 11. What is that? We lost. And then the road got even harder. All right, Manchester City away. All we have to do is contain Erling Holland. It'll be fine. Somebody look out for that. Kovacic. Holland. No, 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 no! Just keep him contained. Look at Holland! Find Holland! Well done. He's 14. You're bullying a bunch of children, Erling. Comeback's on. The comeback is on. The comeback is on. The comeback was not on. Yeah. He doesn't even do that in real life. I ah, he, he does, doesn't he? It's going to be a long year. But after a gutsy draw at home against Chelsea, Wonderkid 11 was sitting eight points clear of relegation. And that's because the entirety of relegation had zero points or less. 
Looking at you, Everton. And for the sake of me not having to wear that hated jersey, we're only two points off the top half of the table. Not bad. Erling Holland has 24 goals in eight matches. How's that legal? Bernardo Silva has 11 assists in eight matches. Now I realize we are really kind of responsible for this. The Wonder Kid 11 was about to enter a dry spell. Going goalless in his next three matches and losing in a late goal to Dominic Solanke. No. No. Then it was away to Newcastle. Okay, we haven't won a match since September. It's November 11th. We haven't scored in five years. Gavi, it's Gavi. Ball day, Matisse Till! Well, that's a good time to score. But we were getting perilously close to the relegation zone with just 11 points from 12 matches and now three points off the top half of the table, which is defended admirably by Manchester United in 10th. That goal from Matisse Tell would spark a passion for late drama that even Sir Alex Ferguson would be jealous of. Wolves at home, tied in the 93rd minute. This has to be our moment. Ball day. Garnacho, Romeo Lavia. They're onto something now. Lavia, ball day. He's in. Surely! Was he on? He was on. It's our first win since September. Coming for you, Manchester United. Then, after another win and a draw, there was a way to Burnley. Well, that, that, that is how you go behind to Burnley, though, isn't it? Who is that? I don't even know who Cullen is. All right, Ferguson. Garnacho, looking for the answer, for the response. Down 2 0. <sighs> Garnachos. This should be huge. Tie it up immediately. Down 2 0 is not even a problem. What's up? This looks good. Oh! 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 Nothing's got nothing on us. We're unstoppable. We're winning the league again. We are so back. A crazy late mistake from Aston Villa gave us our fourth win out of five matches and set up a double against Arsenal and Liverpool to see if Wonder Kid 11 was finally for real. We weren't, but I thought we were. Away to Arsenal, baby. This is it. Zaire Emery, he's a dog. Zaire Emery! No big deal. No big deal. Bigger deal. Not a lot of time left. Why is he good? That Zaire Emery goal was our only shot of the entire match. Really, Darwin? Those are the ones he normally misses. Oh, we are so cooked. We're not back. And after a draw with Fulham, 2023 ended on a sour note, and it was only going to get worse against Manchester United on January 1st. I'll be honest with you, I'm not optimistic about this. I'm starting to question Antonio Conte's tactics. The only saving grace is, for whatever reason, Manchester United is terrible. Apparently, Garnacho was the only thing holding them together. This is better. Presneda looking in the box. Ref! Ref! That's a pen. Come on, Barco. Valentin Barco. Remember the name. Presneda looking to Gavi. How does Gavi win that one? Surely not. Surely not. Surely. Sh we are so back. Despite Wonderkid 11's heroics against Manchester United and another win against Crystal Palace, there were the cups that offered the best opportunity to win silverware. After beating Colchester again, this time in the FA Cup, that set up a fourth round tie with Norwich. But before we dive into it, thank you to Dan FM Databases for making the database used in this video. You can check their stuff out in the description. And my stuff, obviously. Yeah, if you tune into his stream and I happen to be wearing a Virginia Tech jersey, that means this started to go a little poorer in the second half of the season. All right, Norwich, FA Cup. I feel like we can win this. We need a response. We need a response. Gavi. It's Gavi. He's got Tell! He's a beast. Matisse Tell is a beast. Harry Kane who? We score now, it's over. Ball day. Gavi, he won it. Neves! Oh! Oh! <laughs> that is light drama! That 
is what this is all about. Go ahead and keep me out of that ugly jersey. Another win against Brighton rounded at a perfect winning January that had us flying near the European places, but quickly we returned to earth. A loss and then even another 95th minute banger from Jean Neves could only help us to a draw. 13 matches left four points safe in the top half and still in the FA Cup. But the match is coming up, Man City and Chelsea. If we don't give Erling Haaland five goals, I'll be happy. Uh, okay, there's a little bit of pressure on our goal, but it's nil-nil. This is our chance. Hit it. Probably smart. Garnacho, Zaire Emery. He's got Goulair. Yes! Oh, they've stolen it! They've absolutely stolen this one! It's Garnacho's again! That's it. That's it. It's over. It's over. He haunts my dreams! But a late penalty would give us the win against Chelsea. And after beating Blackburn as expected in the next FA Cup round, that would bring us all the way to the FA Cup quarterfinal against Everton. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go! Let's go! No! Now they've got a corner. It's 1-1. No, 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 no! Oh, Onana scored it. No. 72nd minute. Oh, he's free. He's, that's it. The kids might not be able to win anything. We're out of the FA Cup. A couple draws in the league and things were staying tight. The Virginia Tech jersey was lurking. One point out of Europe. Three points clear of the bottom half. Eight games to go. Okay, we end the season with Arsenal-Liverpool, which means this Newcastle match is our last match against the top six, top seven team before then. We can win it. We're probably going to be safe. Joe Linton. It's long staff. It no. It's football manager. It had to be Callum Wilson. Why did it have to be Callum Wilson? I right, have a corner. It's in. Yes. Looking for Tell. He's got Tell. He's got Marty Tell. Oh, what a player! And now Wonder Kid Eleven just have to hang on for a crucial victory. 90th minute is Golden. And Golden to Wilson. He stopped him. No. I will not wear you. I won't do it. I'm not doing it. Splitting wins and draws throughout April put us five points clear of the bottom half of the table with three matches left. But those three matches, Aston Villa, Arsenal, and Liverpool. But if Wonderkid 11 can find good results in those last three matches, it will finish in Europe after starting the season with every single player being a teenager. Holland has 43 goals, by the way. I breaking every record possible. But Man City's not winning the league, dude. How do you have 43 goals and your team's not top? All right, Villa, this is the winnable one. This is the one we got to get something from or else this gets really uncomfortable. Bailey, that's fine. No, no, it's not. Scalvini, what are you doing? That's like the worst time to get screwed. We had 2.8 XG and they had 0.27. What in the arsenal just happened? The loss dropped us to ninth place with 49 points. Brentford was behind us with 48 and then West Ham in 11th and 45 had the chance to make me wear the jersey. Biggest two matches of the season, uh, obviously, at home against Arsenal. They're tickying the taka all over us. Antonio Conte seems to be perfectly fine with that. Hey, you know what? I'm fine with it too. That was good defense. Oh, that was the that was the closest either team's gotten. It just broke me out of the malaise of the match. Oh, I can't take it! I'm so close. Okay, we didn't have a highlight, but we drew. What did what happened to West Ham? What did West Ham do? We might have clinched. They drew against Wolves. We have guaranteed a top half finish with Wonder Kid 11 with one match to go. Wonder Kid 11 finished the season with a 1-1 draw against Liverpool, finishing 10th. That's enough. That's in the top 
half. A respectable finish for a bunch of teenagers. 17 goals from Mati Stell to lead the way, but Garnacho had 16 goals on the season. Big year. Gavi was the only other player with more than five at nine. And Alejandro Balde didn't score, but the Barcelona left back had 12 assists. And I don't ever have to wear this jersey, and I'd prefer to never look at it again. If you want to play with this database on Football Manager, there's a link to it in the description. If you want to see how we came to these 25 wonder kids, we made a video finding the best teenage wonder kids in Football Manager. You can watch that right here. It's incredibly detailed, scientific, and there's lots of, of me in it because it's my YouTube channel. You'd probably see that coming, though. Shouldn't be like a spooky surprise or anything. Huh, gotcha.